my god, look at this. This is really messed up. There's a whole bunch of wind and like snow and it's coming down really fast and it's gonna go for 12 hours. Okay, here we are in the car. It was like all the windows covered with snow. And we're gonna try to start this thing. Okay, it's lighting up. I'm just too lazy to scrape the windows off. Here's my easy way of cleaning this. I'm just gonna set my um, thing up to how many degrees? Let's see. I'll set it up really, really high on. And I'll put it on high. Okay, so my method didn't work. I had to get out with a scraper, and that's really lame. But here we go down the driveway. So hopefully we don't run over anything. We're just getting this to the top of the driveway. Here we go. See, I'm not really sure if I should park in this because the whole top of the driveway turned into like a lake of slushy. Just look at my feet slushy into this. I don't know if it's good for my car to be like parking in it. in the middle of Slush Lake, so I don't know how good this is. I'm wondering if I should go over here instead because it's higher ground and it's like a parking lot. This is where I usually leave my car, but I don't know. I think I'm going to try it. It doesn't look like it's that much right now, and I think the slush aspect of it has kind of calmed down and it's turned into snow. So now it's just to get back to the house. Oh. Oh god damn it, I'm here at Wells Fargo and banks lost power. ATM machine's not working, nobody's here. So I'm gonna have to try to find another one. And it's pretty crazy out there, it's looking like a disaster zone. Damn, my mirror got caked up just from that one little ride. I'm gonna have to make sure that this stays where I can see out of it. Woohoo! A snow adventure in Milford, Pennsylvania. I'm kind of driving all over the road. People are just walking wherever they want to because it's kind of like a disaster. And stuff is happening. I'm trying to get to the ATM because Experian chose this moment to strike and screw me over and try to mess with me and make withdrawals on my account that I didn't authorize them to make. And I guess they figured this is a pretty good day to try to do that shiznit. And I'm not having it. I actually will go out in the blizzard and stuff just to make sure that I can stop them. So <laughs> it's all out war with Experian and I'm winning. Okay, so the power went out in my house and I went across the street to try to charge in my, my Goal Zero Yeti and I see the getting in my car. I was going to try to either use the Frisky Goat or Hope Hotel Chef Washer, but um, I can't even get over there because there's cars just lined up right outside my house in the road, so nobody's going anywhere. Maybe I'll try the Dollar General. It looks like they're closed though and everybody went home, so I'm coming over here <laughs> to try to get some energy and use the bathroom because it's unfortunate, but when the power goes out in my house, the water pump turns off. So then I have to go to the bathroom outside. So that really sucks. Looks like they're starting to speed up now, but it's still not looking too good. So yeah, I'm going to continue on my quest for electricity. <laughs> Okay, so I've got no phone and no power. So how am I doing this? Well, I've got this really nice solar lantern and I just put it on my um, traveling case with a twist tie. <laughs> and then there's my baby traveling case. And then I have my really cool R Sonic Korean um, cooker that runs off cans of butane. So I'm actually going ahead and making some, um, what am I making? I'm gonna make some of this, some of this um, 
chicken flavor uh, fettuccine. And then I'm gonna add a can of tuna. So that will be a pretty good meal for somebody who's trapped with no power. <laughs> and I have no water, so unfortunately, because the electricity runs the water pump, so luckily yesterday I went to my spring and I got tons, I got literally 20 gallons of spring water. So I'm hooked up on the waterfront and I'm hooked up in a lot of ways in here. I have this hand crank lantern. Oh, and incidentally, the Korean cooker keeps me really warm too. I also have tons of butane. So let me see if I can show you how this really works. I'm gonna have to hold it with my feet, but basically I can just crank. <laughs> let me see if I can show you. I just crank the lantern with my hand. And if I crank it for like five minutes, I get about half an hour of light. And I think this charges, if I'm not mistaken, it also charges my phone. Um, but I can't find the charger on there at that particular moment, but I have other stuff like my laptop is fully charged and I've got candles. I had found these really great candles with my initials on them, CJ, and wouldn't you know it, I actually needed them for an emergency. I've got tons of other little solar lamps. I've got my battery powered, <laughs> um, little lights fairy lights. I have my other, this is a really great Bushnell camping lantern. I don't think you can see it. Yeah, there's the name Bushnell. And I can adjust that up and down to conserve energy. And yeah, I'm pretty hooked up in here. I'm not like suffering or anything. And this is keeping me really warm, this cooker, even though I have propane heating over here. Probably can't see it because it still is kind of dark in here. But yeah, so, oh, there I am. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing when I lost the power in my apartment, I mean in my cottage. And um, I will hopefully see you guys when the power gets back on. So now I'm making some hibiscus tea on my Korean cooker. Let's see if it's the water. Ooh, it's pretty hot. So we're going to just turn this off. Let's see if the handle is hot. Ooh, it's really hot. So I'm just gonna like pour in the water. Ooh, this is some really hot tea. And there we go, I'm done with the cooker for the night. And I can just kind of not use that anymore. Just let this steep for a little bit. And then maybe we can get into some story time. So hard to try to find a lighting scheme that doesn't make you look like crap when you're going through a disaster, like a giant snowstorm that has knocked out the power and the phone and the water and trapped you in the house so that you can't go anywhere and see your friends or do anything and yeah okay I'm thinking that I finally found the one cuz I was having a really hard time but you know all this work that I'm putting in on this is work that is <laughs> this is the type of work that needed to be done and I was fucking running away from it and it took cutting off my phone and cutting off my access to the outside world to try to force me to get this going on. Hey guys, it's me. I'm just kind of messing around during the snowstorm. There's literally nothing better to do. I can't go anywhere. It's two feet of snow. My whole town lost power. I'm in here with just basically camping lanterns just to try to, you know, pass the time and make some videos. I've been meaning to make videos and then I've just been putting it off and putting it off. So I guess now is the time. I have a drink. I actually juiced a grapefruit and then put a little bit of rum in it. It's a drink that I like. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> so um, I figured that, you know, when you've got a natural disaster of these proportions, you might as well have a drink. So. I just wanted to start out talking about um, 
one lady that I really love um, on YouTube. She does the Permission to Exist channel. Love you. Mwah, your channel is the best. And it's basically, um, it started out as an anti-narcissism channel and it's branched out into a bunch of stuff. Um, she just has some really great life advice and I just, I just wish you the best. You're awesome. This is what you do when the lights go out. You just kind of make videos and you get huddled around the, the candles and you start sharing with other people your experiences. So I figured um, that would be a good place to start right now. Um, so my name is Christine Johns and sometimes I'm called x or DJ x or whatever name that I'm using for any particular night cl nightclub project. Um, I like putting on events, I like DJing, I like uh, singing, I like performing, I like acting, I like bodybuilding, and just about anything creative, but um, especially performing. Oh my god, this is so freaking boring. The road is blocked up outside. There's no way to get through, so cars are sitting there for like an hour. There's no electricity in here. My laptop's running out of energy. I'm getting tired of making videos. This just sucks.